Hallelujah. You believe that the keys to orders shall be handed over to you. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Lift up your hands for those of us who are seated. I've never seen a door that you sit down to open. Lift up your voice to heaven. And appreciate this God. Let's thank him. Let's magnify his name. He said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. He has called us that he may bless us. He has called us to hand over the keys that opens all doors to us. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. You have named this service as our covenant day of open doors. Lord, it will answer in the life of every attendee. Doors shall be open for us. Everlasting doors shall be lifted up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Send your word unto us. Let your words change our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. And please be seated. It's my year of breaking limit. I want to appreciate God and also our father in the house who has asked me to bring the word in this service. Daddy, thank you, sir. Now, a, the teaching is captioned unveiling our break, breaking limit heritage in the world. And just as we all know, today is our covenant day of open doors. And it's also our special anointing service. By the anointing today, doors will be open for you. If that is for you, amen, will be louder. I'm taking part three, C. Unveiling our breaking limit heritage in the world. And our emphasis has been knowing our heritage in Christ from the world. And I start by making this statement that no believer can break limit until he or she know who he is in Christ. God's word being a spiritual mirror is what reveals to us who we are and what we have in redemption. Just as the natural mirror reveals to you how you look like, so also the scripture, the Bible, reveals to us what God has ordained us to be and as we begin to do the instruction in it we begin to reflect it someone will reflect what God has ordained you to be in the name of Jesus Christ in James chapter 1 and verse 22 James 1 he said be doers of the word and not hearer only deceiving yourself. And in verse 23, verse 23, he said, For if any man hear this word and do it not, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a mirror. And verse 24, and he said, For he beholded himself and goeth away and set away, forgetting what manner of man he looked like. For our ladies, your tie, igele, your scarf, and maybe one feet above your height, 
and you want to enter a taxi, if you don't position that scarf well, it will fall off because you have forgotten how you look like. But that will not be your testimony. And verse 25, verse 25 said, But any man who looketh into this perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he said, Be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the works, this man shall be blessed indeed. Now, my emphasis is any man who looketh into this perfect law of liberty and continue to look not forgetting himself he said this man will reflect what Christ has ordained he or she to be and that will be your portion I said that will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ now it is what we see from this mirror of scripture and do that changes our story and my prayer for every one of us here in this service is that the one you will see from today will change your story. I say it will change your story in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's look at a few things that from scripture that must reflect in our lives as believers. Number one, from scripture, we are redeem a star, not a, a failure. Now, the very day you gave your life to Christ, failure ended in your life. You are no longer candidate to fail. And that was why the Bible said, even when a righteous man falls seven times, he has what it takes to rise again. You are ordained to be successful in whatever you set your hand to do. Now, talking about Jesus, in Revelation 22, verse 16, now he said, I, Jesus, have sent my angels to tell this to the churches, most especially in Winner's Chapel, Owerri. I am the root and the offspring of David, I am the bride and what? The monastery. I am the root. David was a man who never lost any battle in life. Praise God. And he's still reigning up to today. Very successful man. And he uses also, there is a difference between star and a morning star. Praise the Lord. The morning star, even when day has break, you still see it. It's still shining in the midst of light. Stars supposed to shine in darkness. You say, arise, shine for your light has come. Darkness will cover the earth, gross darkness the people. But he said, you are going to be a light. The Gentiles will come into what? Your light. Praise the Lord. But by redemption, you are a star. Tell yourself, I am a star. Irrespective of how you look down on yourself, God said, you are what? A star. You will continue to shine. I say you will continue to shine. Jesus said in John... 17 verse 18 as my father has sent me into the world as a star so have I also sent you but the question is how do I emerge as a star one thing one of the things that helps you to emerge as a star Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 he said and they shall be wise and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of what? Firmament. And every one of them who turn many to righteousness shall be what? Stars forever. Stars forever. 
stars forever. So anyone who is bringing souls to the kingdom is already a star. Watch that person. It's going somewhere. Praise the Lord. We can see our father, Bishop David O'Hirubo. He began with gathering just a few of his friends. When God gave him this mandate. But wherever his name is mentioned, the devil trembled. Praise the Lord. And that will be your own testimony. I said that will be your own testimony. Number two, what are we redeemed to be? You are redeemed to be far above all principalities and powers. Praise the Lord. And until this is done on you, you can't escape the oppression of the devil. I am redeemed far above principalities and power. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6, for Paul speaking to the Ephesian church, he said, and has led us together and made us to what? Sit together in where? In where? In heavenly places. Anywhere the embassy of America is. Look like America. True of us. Praise the Lord. So, by redemption, you move the kingdom of heaven to wherever you are. And in that kingdom, devil don't has us access to it. You are redeemed far above principalities and power. And Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20. He said, how did he do it? He said, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him up from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. In where? In heavenly places. Far above. And how do you dominate? How do you enjoy the word of this kingdom? In Colossians 2.15, he said, Colossians 2.15, he said, having spoiled principalities and power and made a show. That show make a spectacle. People were watching. Of them all openly triumphing over them. So by this heritage, witches and wizards, wizard, are not permitted to harm you. Because where you belong to, they can't come there. May you enjoy this grace. I say may you enjoy this grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. When you understand that you are above principality and powers, you are not scared of going to your village if you have something to do there. Praise the Lord. Maybe you think that your one of your uncle has any power. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. By the reason of the kingdom you belong to, devil and his cohort can hurt you because you are far above them. You are far above them. You can't compare a vehicle going to Lagos an airplane going to Lagos. Some of them can fly 93,000 kilometers all from the ground or miles away from the ground. Praise the Lord. You are far away. At the onset, you may see, be seeing buildings, but a time will come, you only see cloud. Praise the Lord. Because what? The airplane has flew far above the ground level. That is where you belong to. I said that is where you belong to. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will stop you. And he also let us know. He said, I've given you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. 
And all the powers of the enemy, he said, they shall not by enemies what? Hurt you. By this heritage, he said, I've given you mouth and a wisdom. Luke 21 verse, that none of your adversary were able to resist. No gun say. By this heritage, in Psalm 105 verse 13, he said, when they move from one nation to another, a suffer no man. To do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sin. And saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You will enjoy the far above order of your heritage in Christ. You believe that your amen will be louder. Yeah. Number three, what are my heritage from the mirror of scripture? You are redeemed to command supernatural breakthrough. Say, I am redeemed to command supernatural breakthrough. Meaning, you are not permitted to break down. You are not permitted to fail. Things will work for you. You believe that your amen will be louder. Things will work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13, he said, You are Matthew 5 13, ye are the salt of the earth. If the salt has lost his savour, wherewith shall he be salted? He said, It's therefore good for nothing. Tell yourself, I'm good for something. I am good for many things. Because I am a salt. Every body, body will value me. And that will be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now in verse 14 of where we are reading. Now it says, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill that can what? Not be hidden. Meaning, by this heritage... Everyone that wants to look at you must look up. You are on top, you are not beneath. You are above, you are not beneath. In the name of Jesus Christ. And in verse 16, he said, Let your light so shine that men will see your good work. So you are ordained to break through on every side, you are ordained to break limits on every side. Now, you may be experiencing failure not after you have met Christ. We saw in Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 8, Peter was a total failure. But after he met Christ, everything about him changed. He began to break through. And in verse 5, he gave us the secret. The only thing he said, I have told all night and got nothing. But at your word, your word has shown me now that word. Immediately, I can break through. And he let down his net by his word. And at the end, Peter, who was a failure, began to employ laborers. You may have been an applicant today. God is going to turn you to employer. That business may not be moving today, but after this service, God will turn your life around. And he's going to turn it around 60 de 360 degrees. You believe that your amen will be louder. You may have been trying to get married. Not after now. That may be before. It may have been failed, but this year, God will open door of miracle marriage for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you may be suffering in that business, but God is going to give you a breakthrough. After the order of Peter, in the name of Jesus Christ, we also saw from scripture, our elder brother, Isaac, and 
Genesis, Genesis chapter 28. And in verse 1 and 2, he made up his mind to leave what he was doing. Genesis 26, Genesis 26, verse 1 and 2. And in verse 12 and 14, after the word of the Lord has come to Isaac, Isaac saw in that land, and that same year, he received what? A hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Verse 13, he increased him. A was great, say breakthrough. And grew until he became very great. And everyone around him began to envy him. This year, God will bless you. Give you a breakthrough that will make you an envy to others. Yeah. If you believe that, your amen will be louder. Yeah. And Galatians 4, verse 28, remind us, shows us that we are like Isaac. He said now, Say now, we, brethren, as Isaac was then, just the same way he experienced breakthrough, are the children of promise. So by redemption, you're then to breakthrough. Tell your neighbor, stop counting your failure of the past. Begin to say your breakthrough now. And that will be your portion. I said that will be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number four. What our heritage in redemption? We are redeemed as a God in the likeness of men. Tell your neighbor, I am redeemed. I am redeemed as a God. And in the likeness of men. Now, what does he mean? He simply means you are a God in human flesh. You are a representative of God. Whatever God can do in his kingdom, he has also delegated to you for you to do it. If God has capacity to cast out devil, you have capacity to cast out devil. In Genesis 1.28, he created us in his image and likeness. Also, in John 10.35, he said, if he called them gods, unto whom the word of liberty is sent to. He said, this word, this scripture can never be broken. Because as many that receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. John 1 verse 12. The child of a goat is a goat. The child of a cow is a cow. So every child of God is a God. And you must manifest that God nature in you. And we are to reign where? On earth. You and I are to reign on earth. And whatever that has turned you to a serv servitude we end today. You are the head and not the tail. You must behave like your father. Praise the Lord. Now, we saw a man in Acts chapter 14, verse 11, Paul. He said, Acts 14, if you read from verse 8 to 11, when they saw what Paul did, in verse 11, and when the people saw what Paul has done, and they lift up their voice, Saying, 
and the dialect of Mbidi. Praise the Lord. This man has come down. Man has come in the likeness of what? He said, God has come down in the likeness of men. From today, anyone that sees you, if he's a believer, we speak in tongues. And if he's an unbeliever, we open his mouth. The same way they open their mouth. After Job. Because they are going to see surprises in your life. Isaiah 8.18, he said, I and the children of God, of whom God has given to me, we are for signs and wonder. Beginning from today, there shall be manifestation of wonder in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Also in Acts 28 verse 6, something happened. They fetch a wood and there was this serpent known to them that if that serpent buys that any person, such individual died immediately. Uh, and it happened that when that snake rolled on Paul's hand, and everybody began to say, dead, dead, he shake it off into the fire. And they said, we have never seen this kind before. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. How do I assess the plan of God? From his word, you must possess a meek spirit. You must be humble. You must be teachable. Psalm 25 verse 35, he said the meek will he guide in his judgment. The meek will he teach in his way. Moses was the meekest man during his time. In number 12, 1 to 3. And Moses was a man whom God told, I have made you a God after Pharaoh. May that begin to replicate in your life. And lastly, we must continue to seek a serene environment if we must what? We are living in a rowdy life. You can't gain anything from scripture. You can't see it. And no wonder David pray, open my eyes that I may behold wonders out of your law. Beginning from today, as you open the scripture, you will see who you are. I say you will see who you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Why not rise up to your feet and lift up your voice to heaven and say, Lord, open my eyes to see from scripture what you have ordained me to be. Open my eyes to manifest all that you have said today that redemption offers. I receive grace. I receive grace, Lord, to see them. I receive grace to, live, to look at the perfect law of liberty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before our Father step in for the anointing session there are some of us here who need Christ right in this service tense has not been working for you because you have not you are not part of the kingdom one is to be in church another one is to be in Christ it is not everybody that you see in bank actually have bank account with that bank may you have bank account with this heaven account. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want a change of story. You want to say Jesus yes. Wherever you are standing. Please come to the front. God's servant will be coming to pray for you. Come to the front. As you give your life to Christ. Why can we sing for them? Come to the front. Come to the front. You want to say I, Lord Jesus take over my affairs of my life. Come to the front. Come to the front. Limejo Paja Kukechuru Waja Lipazo Chine Kiwe Maye Bewe Chukwaya You don't need to waste something
somebody to push you. The day I gave my life to Christ was the beginning of my turning point. You can't be in church and not be in Christ. Come to the front. You want them to pray for you. You want God's servant to lead you to Christ. Wherever you are standing, please come to the front. In case you are invited, you are among those who are invited, you have not been in church before, you have not given your life to Christ. Why not come to the front and surrender to the Lordship of Jesus? Can we clap our hands as they come? Why they are coming, let's invite our Father. Clap for them, clap for them, clap for them, clap for them, clap for them. They are coming. The devil cannot hold you down. This service is for you. This service is for you. May we give Jesus a big hand as we welcome our Father. Come on, come on. Somebody excited, give God a shout of praise. I have plenty of friends out there. If you are not saved, you are not safe. If you are not born again, you'll suffer again. There are too many things that want to keep you down. I'd like you to react this morning. Wherever you are, you are a student, you are a doctor, you are a lawyer. No matter your level, only Jesus can save you. Why don't you join them very quickly? You want to surrender your life to Jesus? You want to make Jesus the Lord of your life? You want to turn your back on the devil and say yes to Jesus? I'd like you to come quickly. Say, Jesus, save me. Keep clapping as they're coming. Keep clapping as they're coming. Wherever you are, you want a better life, a brighter life. Come, 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 come. It's the God of a second chance. It's the God of a new beginning. The way you clap for them, that's how they clap for you this year. Please be seated, church. My friends in front, put your right hand on your heart. And say after me, say, Lord Jesus. Say louder, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Forgive me my sins. Lord of Jesus, deliver me today. From now, I decide. And I declare, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I receive you. Change my life. Change my destiny. Change my story. And I'll serve you forever. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. I'd like to pray for you now. Father, give to this your sons and daughters a brand new heart, a brand new life, a brand new testimony. Whatever is the attack today, let it be canceled. Whatever is the frustration today, let it be terminated. Whatever is the trouble today, turn into a miracle. And I declare from today, you will never see trouble in your life anymore. I call today a day of new beginning for you. Shout the loudest, Amen. Open your eyes, look up here. November 1981, I stepped out like this to give my life to Jesus. From that day, I have looked at Jesus only. And it has been forward ever, backward never. I'd like to congratulate you. Whatever will not let you go from today shall go for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have a special attention for you from the pastors. They will minister to you. And then they will encourage you to partake of the water baptism today. The Holy Ghost baptism today. And whatever will not let you fly shall be terminated. You'll be anointed. You will never see trouble in your lives anymore. Meanwhile, I'll see you next Sunday. God bless you. Follow the pastors. Church, are you clapping as they go? Somebody alive and well, give God the loudest shout of praise. Why are you blessed by that message? Put your big, big hands together for the Lord.